you know that right here on Grapevine, we bring you talented people, not only from Kenya, but also across the world. And today is no exception because joining me right now is a singer songwriter, a British Nigerian singer songwriter who does Afrobeat and he's doing really, really well. He goes by the name Mo Logo. It's okay to let I feel your pain, I feel your pain. The bad shit don't take a job up. I'll take you. Welcome to Grapevine. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'll go direct. Judging from your maiden EP, Mo is my name, logo, uh, music is my it's name. My yes. Where uh, is that the whole meaning of your stage name, Mo Logo? Yeah. Yes, that's that's the meaning of my logo. So my name is Mohammed. Mm -hmm. So I got it from there. So Mohammed is my name. Music is what people know me as. So that's my logo. So Mo's my name. Music is my logo. My logo. Yeah. And it also means um, my logo. It also means um, uh, a bright star. Like you know, in in Nigeria, that's what it means. Like uh, someone with um with um with a big bright star. You know what I mean? So that's what the name comes from. Amazing, beautiful, and I'm so sure you know the bright star, just as your name suggests, and you are really starring and um, <laughs> catapulting the Afrobeat music in the UK. How has the reception yes. been over there in terms of Afrobeat? Um, it's amazing. Everybody's playing their part. You know, there's there's loads of us. You know, pushing the the agenda. So. It's amazing to see that you know non-Africans are even getting involved. Um, they, they love the culture. They wanna they wanna know more. So I feel like we're doing very well, showcasing who we are. All right. Let's talk about your new EP. It's actually very very new. It's brand new. I think we are this... the first people to talk about this, <laughs> right? The EP is called Me. Yeah. So tell us the inspiration behind it. The inspiration behind the, my new EP, Me, is I wanted to give my fans a little bit more about my, about myself. You know, this time around, no collaborations, just myself and my fans, literally, and speaking to them, telling them this is how I feel, what I've been doing for the past two years, how I've been feeling for the past two years, and, you know, with their love, I'm going to do way more and just, you know, showcase who I am to the world. So I felt like it was important for me to just do these five songs um, and speak about everything as, as much as possible. Even though I didn't have enough time, but I tried my best. Yeah. And um, there's one thing that really uh, challenges the artists when they're putting out an EP or album. That's the cover of it. Yeah. So was it was it the same for you? How long, like... Just how did it pressure you to get the cover? Um, cover? Getting the cover done was a bit stressful because I had different ideas. I was like, what am I going to use? What picture am I going to use? I was asking my mom for a picture of me when I was a bit younger to use because um, I felt like it would, it would work. But my a and her name is Tenny Paul, she came up with the idea. She said, you know, why don't you just um, like showcase yourself in three three ways? You know, you as the UK artist um, and you as the African artist and you when you work with the pop, pop artist. So it's me in three ways. So that's why um, um, the, the, the EP is volume one. So this is volume one. There's volume two and there's volume three coming up. So it's me EP in three ways. So it's like I have all these different um, qualities about me, and I'm putting it together in one person. Mm -hmm. I can see this lockdown is getting people really, really busy, especially artists. So you have yeah. this is volume one, and you have a volume two and a volume three as well. Of the volume, volume two and volume three is ready. Okay, so when should we expect them? Now that they're already ready. <laughs> as long I, I'm, I'm waiting. For the fans to digest this EP first, and then you know, I'll bring it out. All right. So you've worked with uh, different producers on this particular project. 
I'd love to know how has, how was the journey, yeah. production journey with each one of them. Production journey with each producer is beautiful because it's literally um you know three individuals that are so talented and you know they gave me their listening ear to to trust where I was trying to like, um, take this um, project to. And I couldn't have done it without them. You know, they gave me something new and the sound to showcase something different. Because this 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 project is different from everything I've done before. And it shows that everyone loved it because to to this morning the love I've been receiving, everyone tweeting about it, you know, everybody doing their thriller videos, you know, the dancers, the shows that they love it and I'm I'm grateful, really and truly for you know, taking this step, this this new step, and just showcasing this this side of my of my art history. Mm-hmm. Speaking of the project being a bit different from every other project that you've worked on, I agree on that because on this particular one, on me, you have opened up about your intimate experiences you've shared with the masses. Just how was that for you? Like, yeah. how did you decide? I know it's quite. You know, it's quite it's quite a task to decide to. I'll just pour out my heart. I will tell you about everything concerning yeah. my logo. Yeah, um, I've always been a type of person, not even an artist, type of person to be so open, you know, about my life, about things. Um, this particular subject it was a bit hard because you know when. Uh, um, when you are going through the same things, you don't want to just bring it, put it out there. But I felt like it was right for me to just keep it real. I continue keeping it real. So I said, you know what? I'm going to just sing I want to sing. And hopefully the people will relate and understand why it came out like this. Yeah. yeah. Now there's so many other Afrobeat artists. What, what yeah. do they makes Mologu stand out from everyone else? I think what makes me stand out is my vulnerability. You know, I'm I'm so vulnerable in my music. It's like you can, you don't even need to, you don't even need to be my friend to understand who I am. Once this is my music, you actually understand me fully. And um, I think it's the way that I combine the my English with Yoruba. Like, I don't know, maybe I feel like the way I do it is so, I don't know, even me, when I listen to my song, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Like, how did he just blend it so well? So I feel my vulnerability and um, the use of the culture and blending the UK sound with the with the African sound. I think that's what it is. Yeah. No, and, but- and, I, and I feel like my melodies are distinctive as well. They are. So I'm not talking. I'm not trying to tweet my own on, but yes. <laughs> you're allowed to, you're allowed to. Because what I'm humble. you're saying is actually true, so it is what thank it you. is. <laughs> thank, thank you. Searching for you. All right, so um while you were preparing this project, you know, while you were in the studio working on it and all that, what what vibe exactly did you have in mind? Like, what vibe did you want your listeners to have yeah. listening to this um, EP? To be honest with you, to be honest with you, I said to myself, I'm not going to think about it too much. I, I knew what I wanted to, to sing about in the songs, but during the process, I just wanted it to flow. I wanted my, you know, my my spirits to just lead me, you know, just to just sing and just bring out melody. So for me, it was just more of a feeling for me, you know, making sure that I get the feelings right. You know, if I didn't get the feelings right, we would not be speaking right now because the EP wouldn't be out. <laughs> so the feeling was very, very important for me. Mm-hmm. This is your fourth EP, right? Yes, my fourth EP. And one would argue, why EPs and not an album? Um, I feel like everybody follows the industry or, you know, just dropping an album and they don't understand the meaning of dropping an album. Like, you have to be very, you have to be ready. Not saying I'm not ready, but I feel like um, 
my fans, you know, it's a journey. I want to I wanna take my time. I don't want to rush. You know, when they need an album, they will, they will scream for it. And I'll be ready and I'll give them the album. Um, it, will, it, will be an al- it will be an album that is a, a testimony to who I am at that moment of time. So I don't want it to be a thing where I'm rushing just because I want to drop an album, you know? Obviously, I'm an artist. I would love to drop an album, but it should be at the right time, at the right place. Anyway, what, what message would you love to put out to your Kenyan fans? Um, I want to say a big shout out to all my Kenyan fans and thank you for the support. Um, I'm grateful for for the love, you know, coming from, from the UK. I know it, it's hard because, you know, as an artist, people are meant to see you every every time and, you know, be familiar with you. So the love I've been, I've been getting from, you know, the people from Kenya, I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, please don't stop it. Um, I can't wait to come down there and, and sing my heart out to you and, you know, just show you who I am and just carry you along on my journey. You're much welcome. Thank you so much for uh, spending time with us. We appreciate it.